Hey, welcome to So Awkward. It's me, Don. I'm Jester. We just saw Suicide Squad. Yes, we did. That's not a good intro. <laughs> Do you have a joke? Nope. You're watching So Awkward. This is Freddy Krueger saying hi. What do you think? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I liked it a lot. I well, it was awesome. I didn't. I didn't like it a lot. <laughs> I liked it a lot. I guess I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No. I thought it was a lot of fun, but I expected to hate it. See, I expected to like it. I, I was like, this is this is gonna be a movie that I like and you hate. The trailers never really gripped me. Um, and I thought they were like the one with like Bohemian Rhapsody. It's like, oh, that was that's a well edited, clever trailer. But that movie looks awful. But no, I liked it. I mean, structurally, the movie had some problems. Tonally, it had some problems. The story was crap, if you could even call it a story. And it was not a story. The pre I mean, it's basically, what does it take place in like one day? Like it's a single mission. Right. Which is kind of neat. The premise, I don't think they ever really sold the fact that these people were any better than the army. Right. <laughs> or just like a SWAT team. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was the one guy who shot fire. Yeah. Like that guy, oh, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> But everybody else is just like a really good shot. Right. Harley Quinn just had a baseball bat. Uh -huh. um, there was the, the, well, there the was killer the... croc who was strong, but he didn't really do anything. No. There was the girl with the sword. The girl with the sword, who she was great. I guess she didn't have a superpower, she just had a sword. She just had a sword that sucked people's souls. Yeah, trapped their souls. The main villain, the Enchantress, I don't know who that actress was. Kara something. Is she famous? Is she a good actress? She's famous. I don't know if she's a good actress. It, that she was not a. That was not a great. I mean, it was her and like her. There was these two like gods. Yeah. It was weird. It was too esoteric. I didn't get it. And just the way they filmed it and her performance was like a dud. She did. She did nothing. <laughs> she did I nothing. I mean, she like waved her arms. Yeah, she waved her arms. And there was all this crazy CG going and on it, behind her. And like, it wasn't they gave even, her like this like weird vocal effect. Yeah, it wasn't even her voice. Yeah. Like, it, that could have been anybody. I don't know why they got her for that role. But I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was fun. <laughs> I, I liked the Suicide Squad. Okay. okay. Like, I liked every, every character worked for me. I mean, this was the Will Smith, Margot Robbie movie. Yeah. And they didn't really make much of an attempt to have it be an ensemble. No. I think they should have. Because everybody, like, I really like Jai Courtney as... Captain Boomerang, I think was his name. He was fun. He was fun. <laughs> I liked him. He did not have enough screen time. I liked Katana, who was the woman. Like, she seemed like a real badass. I wanted more of her. Killer Croc did nothing. The fire guy, what was his name? I have no idea. I'm not terribly familiar with these characters. I'm a Marvel guy. I loved Will Smith. I thought Will Smith was great. He was very Will Smith, though, so if you don't like Will Smith. I thought Margot Robbie was awesome. She was a lot of fun. I expected to hate her. I don't like Harley Quinn. I don't, I've never really liked any version of Harley Quinn. She's an, obno she's an intentionally obnoxious character. I didn't find her obnoxious in this. I thought she was funny. Okay, but now, the Joker. Oh, yeah, the Joker. Oh. Jared Leto as the Joker. What was your opinion of the Joker? I hated him. Worst Joker ever. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. It was awful. It was awful. Visually, it was terrible. Terrible. The performance he gave was just embarrassing. Oh my god. Conceptually, it was like this scarface ass like gangster, like in a club with like gold. Like, he had like bling. The gold grill. Seriously, so bad. Really bad. He's in the movie for five minutes, maybe. Five minutes too much? But yeah, but you don't have to put up with him. You don't have to put up with him. Too much. Thank God. But he, he keeps popping up. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He keeps popping up. I liked his crew, like especially the guy in the, the 
panda suit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was fun. That just, that, it was weird. This is how bad Jared Leto's Joker was. It made me wish it was Jesse Eisenberg as Alexa Luthor. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> how about Flag? He, uh... Who is he? Why do I know him? I don't know why you know him. Okay. He was in the RoboCop reboot. Did you ever see that? No. He was Murphy. That He's the new RoboCop. I know him from something. He's on some show called The Killing. That's it! Is that it? I think that guy's a good actor. The character, his motivations were thin. I didn't care for the character, but he was really good in the show I watched. I don't know if he was good here. It could have just been a bad character. I think it was a bad character. It was a... He, um... Yeah, he didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the... Amanda Waller, what was her Viola name? Viola Davis. I don't know Amanda the, Waller. Is this a famous actress? She was good. She was fun to watch. She was, um... Probably the redeeming quality of this movie to me. That and uh, the soundtrack. The soundtrack was amazing. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. It was like all 70s rock. Also, Eminem. Then, um, M then they threw an Eminem <laughs> and the White Stripes. Yes. But it was all gray, like perfect music it was cues. Really good. I liked the scene. Like all the. The action was cool. But I thought, like, all the scenes with the Suicide Squad, like, when they were in that bar just drinking and talking, like, that was a really good scene. Like, I thought everybody had good chemistry. But it's definitely lighter in tone than Batman v Superman. Absolutely. It's more fun. Like, I'll never watch Batman v Superman again. I have no interest in ever rewatching that movie. This movie, if it came on TNT, I'd watch it. I wouldn't watch either one of them. If it was like a Sunday afternoon, you had nope. nothing to do. Nope. Your internet's down. It's on I, TNT. I am going to go take a walk. <laughs> okay. Ouch. <laughs> what do you think of Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn? I like her. But God, do you have to make every single woman in love with somebody? For the love of God, stop it. Although in this movie, they kind of made them closer to equals than they usually do with Harley Quinn. Usually she's just this fawning, even more so, like Patsy character. Whereas in this one, she's she's tougher. I mean, she, I've never really seen Harley Quinn kick this much ass. Like, she beats up people, and it's pretty fun. And she's funny. I've never really found Harley Quinn funny. I think Margot Robbie was, she found, in the performance, she found a tone that worked that wasn't incredibly obnoxious, but also was, she had that weird affectation to her voice that Harley Quinn is famous for. But yeah, every character's motivation in this was based on love. Like the RoboCop guy was in love with that woman. That, that was the most bland love story I've ever seen. That was terrible. Zero chemistry between <laughs> those two, right? That was... That was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> Will Smith doing it because he loves his daughter. I think that was probably the most successful thing. Like, Will Smith's story was really well told. Whereas Margot Robbie's story felt like they just wanted to have Joker in the movie. But I liked it. I thought it was fun. I would watch it again. I... Th I don't know. <laughs> it was... It was one of those movies that were... Like, there's a... You'll watch a scene, you're like, wow, that's a great scene. Then another scene, that's a great scene. As a whole, it's probably a dud. But I say check it out. I liked it a lot. I thought it was fun. If you are on the fence, if you like a fun comic book romp, check it out. There's a little scene after the credits that is completely not worth sitting through. I don't know. I would sit through. I mean, it was fine, but it's like, I don't... They... I mean, I guess that's what they do. They... they even Marvel does is they put these scenes after the credits. Here's the... Here's the next movie. I just watched this movie. 
No, I say if you're gonna sit through Suicide Squad, sit through the credits. It, I mean, it's not even the long credits. Yeah, they do the thing now where they have the pre-credits, a scene, uh, then they bring up. But these are the people that we don't give a shit about. Viola Davis and Ben Affleck. Yeah. Like, watch it. If you're gonna watch the entire movie, uh, don't watch the last scene. So you're recommending they watch the movie? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I guess the last scene was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else do we have to say about this? Uh... Now we're gonna go eat chicken tenders. Are we really gonna do that? I don't know, you wanted to. Okay. Are we gonna go buy Suicide Squad mystery minis? Nope. No? See, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm. I, see, I liked all the characters. No, I don't want them. I just wish they were in a better movie. <laughs>